Finally, I've got another mould. Uh, this has taken, what, three attempts, I think it was. Uh, the first one it lifted. No, the first one didn't work properly because my printer needed servicing. The second one lifted, and this is the third one. I've over-engineered this quite a bit. I mean, this didn't need to be half that thick. Uh, this is the piston part of it. I should have done it just that high, it would have printed in a lot quicker. There's the base. So the base goes like that, and I bolt it through those holes there, which I've got to clean out, obviously. And then this is the central point that the piston goes in, which again, I bolt it through those holes there. And then this is the piston bit, which goes obviously that way which doesn't bolt together at all because those two bits will separate. Here's the prototype with the... This is off the original, it's a, it was a riveted bracket, but I can reuse that. This time I've decided not to do any holes. Uh, but what I have done is, with things like the, the slight indent that I've got there, there is a slight indent on there, uh, and all that sort of thing, so... Uh, but the holes I'm going to drill in afterwards and obviously I've still got to clean all these off uh, these are all the support material or, or the bloody thing to keep it flat on the base so I'm going to do all that and then I can forge it I printed all this out I've cleaned it all up and I've realised that I haven't got enough uh, the bolts that I've got aren't long enough to actually go through these holes here so what I've had to use is captain tape. Why does that look suggestive? As usual, I've mixed too much. <laughs> I think. Is there? No, that might be enough. Uh, just a tip. If you want to stop the brushes, the bristles from coming out of these brushes, I mean, I don't suffer with, with these. They don't actually come out at all. But if you find that your bristles start coming out, just get some super glue and just run it all around the bottom there and just let it wick in and then it doesn't come out. You won't get any bristles anywhere. So the first thing I've got to do, I've got to put some epoxy down there. I don't know if I was uh, lucky last time or just very skilled but I've got exactly the right amount of carbon fibre in there. It's just pure luck. Like I say, I've never done this before. As before, I'm going to take a few strands of uh, carbon and I'm going to mix them in purely so as I can get some more reinforcement along the travel. So that should give it more strength. As you can see, I've now got to put that in the vise and then I've got to put the bolts, the, uh, the nuts on there. So I'm going to clamp that up and then leave it 12 hours. Well, I'm going to split this now. Uh, I don't think this has turned out, or don't think it will turn out as good as the other one because of the captain tape. Um, it did mostly start coming out of here, which means that it's splayed out a bit. I don't know. It's all there. This is where I've got to be careful about what I take off and how I take it off. You see, this is this is split. If I it was to try and pull that off that way, there's a mechanical lock there, and that would break the mould. Um, and the same here, the ball is actually a mechanical lock. So the only way. 
I can do it is split it down there and then pull that out and it's come off. <laughs> this is easier than the last one. Wow, it's a complete piece. Apart from I've missed Shit, it'll be alright. It's just, uh, that's not a structural point anyway, so it doesn't, it won't matter. Well, it's not as clean as the other one. Uh, you see some... Oh shit. <laughs> oh no. I'll get some epoxy on that. It'll be fine. It's not a structure point anyway. I mean this... That is not going to break. No way on the face of the earth is that going to break. The brake levers are done. Uh, that's the front one, still needs adjusting. That's a mechanical one. And this one's the hydraulic, which also needs bleeding. The old ones used to come to here. You can see what, what sort of a distance I've got. Literally, I could only get two fingers at the very most I could get on it. Uh, with this one, it might look like the grips are it's a long way off, but it, it, it isn't. When I'm round here, I can just pull my fingers on it, it's not a problem. It'll do anyway, it's got to do, I'm not doing them again. <laughs> now plus which, this one especially, uh, the end of the, the lever, the distance here, the end of the lever was actually greater than it is now. Because it was, it was, it was coming out like that. So this one is actually a closer grip, or a closer reach. So, you know, I'll, my fingers aren't particularly long, but that works perfectly. I've put all of my grip I possibly can on that, and it doesn't, that thing does not flex whatsoever. I'm so pleased with the way they came out. So pleased.